Hi, I'm Charlie Austin, and you're watching 442. Right. Bournemouth Pop is at home. I've just come off a week trial at Swindon whilst playing for Pool Town. Uh, I didn't know at the time that Danny Wilson had come to watch the first half. He didn't tell nobody that he was coming, and I'd scored two in the first 20 minutes. I played okay, it was lashing down, and, and that was it really. I never, I thought oh, it was just a, just a normal game, we won 4-2. The next day I get a phone call from, from Danny Wilson, saying, hi Charlie, I was at your game last night, and I was like, wow, he said, but I left at half time, you'd scored two, I, I know the result, and look, we're gonna speak to Paul Town and try and get a, a deal done, so I wanna offer you a contract, Was that something you're interested in? And I was over the moon. I, at first I thought it was a little bit of a wind up, but then I thought, wow. The phone went down, called my dad straight away. And that was it. I just thought, right, I've been given a chance now. Swindon versus Carlisle away. Three minutes in into my debut, the ball's gone wide from JP McGovern to Billy Painter. He's crossed it in and it's just missed the first man I was there. Got in front of my defender, had a good first touch and shot back across the keeper, it went in. Three minutes on my debut, I, I didn't think things could get any better. 54 minutes, I was, was subbed, the fitness kicked in, and, and that was how Danny Wilson really introduced me to first team football, and I was just over the moon. I couldn't wait for the next game, the next game. First career hat trick, Burnley. Portsmouth away, 1 5 1. I was on the bench, I was going through a bit of a sticky time at, at Burnley at the time. I wasn't really playing. And, it was 25 minutes to go and he gave me the shout at the hour and that was it, I went on. We got a wide free kick to the left hand side, Ross Wallace took it, he'd come in and beat everybody. I was at the back post and it kind of just hit me, went across the goalkeeper and everyone kind of just froze, apart from myself and I just put it in and put a free one up at the time. Second goal, it was around about the 91st minute, they wasn't really keeping it but they was passing it back, went back to the keeper but I read it, intercepted the pass, went round the keeper and rolled it in the empty net took my shirt off and <laughs> slid into the corner. And then it was about the 96 minute we've broken and Junior Stanislas has slid in Josh McCoy and we're 2v1. Then we go back to that striker situation which is greedy and he wasn't, he rolled it across to me and I was in the middle of the goal and just first time finished into the roof of the net. QPR versus Wigan at home, 2-1. We all stayed in the Marriott Hotel the night before and throughout the day I, I couldn't really sleep. I was nervous, I've never played in, in a game like it before, I mean we need to get to Wembley. Gets to the game, we're one down after six minutes, James Perth scores at the back post. You think to yourself, well we're, we're right up against it here. And I think in the second half Rob Green makes a save from McLean, James McLean, and it, it kind of changed the game, really got the crowd behind us and got us up. I was fortunate enough Bobby Zamora come on and kind of changed the game for, for different reasons, not for scoring but just the, the way he played, Junior Hoylip passed him the ball. Played a 1-2 with Bobby and, and next minute he's been brought down by Gary Caldwell. 78th minute we get a penalty. I pick the ball up, I remember going over, just giving myself 30 seconds on my own, thinking about what I'm going to do. Remembering that I put four penalties into the keeper's left hand side and I'm thinking if he's watched me, I might have to change it. And I thought, yeah, I'm going to change this. Lucky enough Scott Carson dies left and I've rolled it into his right. one all, I was delighted. Lashing down with rain, backs against, final whistle goes, we're going into extra time. Six minutes into extra time, we get a throw in. It comes in from Danny Simpson, Bobby Zamora just helps it on. And I just reacted before Leon Barnett, again, going to that cat and mouse situation. I was really switched off and it switched him off, I think. Boom, I was got in front of him, Scott Carson come out and I just got there first and poked it past him. We went on to game to, to win the game 2-1, it was one of the best games I've, I've played in. Up to that point we got to Wembley in the 89th minute when the ball dropped, Bobby bent it in the corner against Derby and lucky enough my Premier League dream is just about to happen. Man City at home for QPR was one of the best games I've played, it was unbelievable. I timed my run perfectly, Mauricio Isla slipped me the ball in, I didn't add my first touch, I had another touch but at one point I never once lifted my head up, going back to the point of knowing where the goal is all the time and I just slipped it past Joe. And the second half, I, I put a great cross in and Di Mackay scored an own goal. And that was the point where I think I really put myself out on the map. That, look, I am here as a Premier League player, I am here to score goals and I can put in big performances. Again, that's where Roy Hodgson watched. 
Go on about dream debuts. I mean, mine was Man United away. I'd been been training with the lads for a week. I'd watched them play against Man United, and they've really had a right go. 85th minute, uh, the manager calls me, right, going on. Now James Ward-Prowse lined up the free kick and Paddy McNair was marking me and I just knew if I got one side of him and he couldn't get there, this ball comes, I'm going to score. And I got behind Jose Font, I remember Morgan Snyderland going mad because he wasn't close enough to me. Everybody went to the front post and just as I went to the front post I stopped and checked back and I was in two, three yards of space, just headed it back across to David De Gea and what a dream debut. Stretford end, Old Trafford, 1-0, delighted.